Hello, everybody. I just did a presentation um, on the setup that's uh, presently going on here. I'm going to shut the frequency converter off and just do a very short video clip on the new version of the frequency converter. I'm unplugging things right now. I'm plugging the spooky from the frequency converter. I'm plugging the frequency converter from the uh, wall out. Now I have it as an individual. Uh, it's separated from the rest of these things that was connected to. Okay, so what's the big difference between this frequency converter and the first one? Uh, we'll call it um, version one. This We'll call this version two. Um, I changed where the, the LED display is at. Instead of being on the side, it is now on the top. So that forced me to put the, the knob in a different place. This is the voltage control knob. And of course, I've uh, got my two input jacks for the um, from the spooky to control the frequency and the gating. Uh, the, that is a nice change, but the real significant change is, is that I added a fan on the bottom of the unit to handle uh, power uh, more consistently and longer. Um, this unit is capable of driving 200 watts at lower frequencies, and when you get in higher frequencies, it starts getting hot and it has a thermal cutoff switch inside and it was going on and off too often and I said I have to figure a way to cool that down so I put a fan in the box and these holes that you now see on the side these are vent holes the fan sucks the air from the bottom hence I had to put feet on the bottom of the box also so air could get in it sucks it from the bottom and it blows out these holes and right behind these holes there's some more holes right here right behind those is the heat sink uh, with a MOSFET mounted on it and I have not tripped the uh, thermal sensor since I put this uh, fan in here. So that is the real significant change. Um, the wiring is a lot cleaner. If you go to the website I put new pictures up showing the insides and the guts and so forth um, and I'm going to update the schematic with the very small changes that have uh, been applied. But this is a lot nicer box than version one just because of the ergonomic uh, placement of the um, ergonomic place, placement of the LED display. Um, I like the, the switch. It's easier. Uh, the, the knob, the potentiometer, it's easy to access rather than real close to the um, uh, capacitor here. Everything else is pretty much the same. Oh, no, it isn't. I took the inline fuse on in, in the cord and I got it out of there and I put the fuse now inside the box. Um, I got smaller fuses and fuse holders and they went inside this box real nice. And then I added an output fuse. This fuse here is fused at 2 amps. This fuse here is fused at 5 amps. So 2 amps at 110 volts gives you roughly, you know, 200 watts of power. Um, you actually, when I was running a, a 200 watt light bulb, I actually wasn't running 2 amps. So I was running about 1.9 amps. And the fuses are there to protect the unit from burning up inside. So please don't, I'm going to provide an extra fuse. If you do pop the fuse, if they're cheap. You can buy them down at your local hardware store. I'll provide an extra one when I ship these boxes. Um, 2 amps. Two amps in this fuse on the output, and it's the output because it's closest to the output plug. Input fuse, five amps, ten amps. I mean, I'm, right now I have a ten amp because um, that was <laughs> what was in the fuse holder when I put it in. Um, I, I will put it back down to a five amp. I just they just came in. I just got a bag of five amps to put in here. Um, not much chance you're going to have a problem here popping uh, this fuse. This is the one that you're going to pop by trying to command uh, by short circuiting playing around, not knowing what you're doing, like I often do, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, and accidentally shorten the output, and now you get yourself some protection and should spare the unit from self-destructing. Okay, so it is, it's a significant amount of change. Unfortunately, this is a labor-intensive box. When you see the wiring inside and so forth, um, the components are not that expensive, but it's a labor-intensive box, so I had to go up on my manufacturing cost or fabrication costs, as I call it. Um, not because I wanted to, but I couldn't work uh, and put these things together for $10 an hour. This first prototype, I probably have 10 hours in it. And at $189, um, I, you know, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm doing slave labor. 
<laughs> any rate, so um, that's it. I wanted to do a quick presentation on the new style uh, frequency converter. Um, I'm really pleased with it. It's much, much better than the uh, version 1 uh, just because of the ergonomic changes, the fan, the fuses. I just like the way it's all set up. Okay, thank you.